just a fully grown man getting swung about in a hammock, as you do. <laughs> yeah. You're, like you're, a gondola. <laughs> <laughs> you're the gondola guy with the stick. <laughs> that piglet is not happy. Lucia. Lucia. Adam. <laughs> we have the same name. Adam too. Adam. So today we're not on the bicycles. And Adam has brought us out to see a waterfall. It's got a good throw. <laughs> and it's rugby that's brought us here. Yeah. Eight years ago, playing rugby with my mate Mike Scott, old Yogi Bear. And his cousin just happens to live out here and he's brought us to this amazing waterfall. Not bad, eh? This is amazing. There's a snake. Well, that soon cleared the waterfall. <laughs> if you ever want to clear a waterfall, throw a snake in the mix. Doesn't bother these kids though. This is now the ball, okay? <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Let's have another day off the bikes. Two days on the bounce. Yeah. Doesn't often happen. And we've come to Maysot Market with Adam and Esther.
Bye-bye. All right. One of the things we love about being on a bike trip is you never really know what's going to happen. We turned the corner straight after leaving Adam's house and stumbled into this pretty crazy street party where we were given drinks, made to dance with this group of ladies and the odd man. <laughs> yeah, these are the things that happen on a bike trip. Those people are leathered. <laughs> right, it's now 10.49. We've been both given a tot of brandy. How are you feeling? I didn't drink it. I did. I had a good old swig of it. I, uh, as I went to drink it, I could smell what it was and just pretended. <laughs> a lot of them women were touching my bum. Really? Yeah, they were getting right handsy. Oh my word. And on the bottom and getting a picture of me. The richness of experience that we get just every day. I mean, you just don't, like, we don't know what's happening around this corner. Oh, that was good. My face is hurting from smiling. Mine is. So my jaw. I've just done a good 30 minute smile. Oh, that was good. So, this uh, place next to it, just over my shoulder. Adam mentioned it, it's a, it's a Burmese refugee camp. Uh, the Thai government allowed them to be here, but they don't get all that much support. We just saw a sign saying Thai pay um, overseas protection service, I think. So there's obviously some sort of United Nations help here. I presume, I don't know that. It just looked like a little UN leaf on there. But um, it looks like a good old community here, fairly basic. Kids are cute as anything. <laughs> right, everyone. Three, two, one. <laughs> right, bye bye. Bye bye. So, what kept? We've come to this viewpoint, and on the other side, that is Burma. All the other side of this river here. And that's going to be us following uh, pretty much this river, and following the border for the next seven, eight, ten days, however long it takes. Just outside a little village called Fasong Yang, where we're hoping to find a resort or little place to stay. Worst case, we sleep here. It's been a really, really nice day. The views have been epic, really stunning scenery, jungle, quite a lot of rolling hills, nothing too long, but it all adds up. So legs are feeling a bit tired, but that's okay. Now, last night we uh, turned up at this little bungalow, little wooden place that we stayed. We tried one other place in the village and it cost 690 baht. Too expensive. And out of our range. So we, which is about 16 pounds I think, something like that. So we came literally about a mile down the road, which on a bicycle is fairly easy. And we found this place for 400 baht, which is about nine pounds. So uh, we stayed in a little log cabin with air conditioning for nine pounds. Uh, also, if you're watching this, you're probably going to be about two weeks behind where we are in real life. Uh, that's probably about how long it takes us to make a video and put it out. So, if you want to catch up and get a bit of a spoiler, go onto our crazy guy on a bike and you can see Lucia's written words and see how far we are. And how it went. <laughs> so you can, uh, yeah, a little bit of a written spoiler alert. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's been a good stay and I think it's time to get back on the road. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah.